All right, I'm going to show you how to add an address book entry to an HP. This is a 60, what is it, 60, 40 MFP. The difficulty here is it's not just as simple as adding an address book. Well, you have to go down, you have to add a folder. So we're going to add, and we're in send a folder. So pretend like we're starting new. So we're going to start with an alias name. We're going to call it test. Um, our file path is back, back, whatever, server, and then back folder, whatever your folder may be. And then down below here, we're going to use, um, in this case, we're going to use public credentials. So our user, uh, our domain name will be test.local, or whatever your domain name is. Our username is going to be test, and our password is test. Now, we're going to test folder access. And I know this is going to fail because obviously we don't have those credentials in. But what this tells you is if your folder, if you can actually access it, if you have rights to at least read to that folder. It's not writing to it, so I don't know if it gives it write permissions at that point. So we failed, which is fine, uh, because obviously my credentials aren't correct. So I'm going to save that now. So OK. Now, as you can see, we have a test folder. Now, this isn't going to show up on the screen of the copier in QuickSet. So when you go to scan a network folder, you're not going to see that. So what you have to do is you have to go to scan to network folder settings, which is actually above the scan to folder address book. And now in here, you can see these are the quick sets are currently there. I want to add another quick set, which is basically adding the address book entry that I just made. So that shows up on the screen. So we'll hit add. This particular machine is a little slow, so for some reason it takes a while to go to the next screen. It's, it is trying and trying to get there. So now that we're here, uh, we are what we're going to do, and this will populate. So we're going to say, hey, you know, we want a new quick set member. So in order to get our new quick set member, we actually have to select our new test folder and move it over here. And once we move it over, um, at that point, we'll hit add folder. It's going to ask us for uh, some credentials, which actually we did wrong. I'm going to go back with just a second here. So we need to add one, a quick set. And you notice this little quick set above the heading. I know it's blurry, but that's the key there, what, what's going on. And again, we're back at this screen. So I want to move my test, and I want to add that. And now I'm going to go down, I think, and hit OK at the very bottom, which is kind of confusing too. But now, when we walk up to the actual machine, we'll actually see the... Oh, I must name it. Yeah, well, I didn't want to name it. But now when we walk up to the machine, we'll actually, in quick sets, when we hit network scanning, we'll actually see that. Because it's, it's listed here as an address entry, but it's not a quick set. So... And this is where you name it. So we're going to name it test, just as it's a quick set button. So, And then at that point, I'm going to hit OK. And now what's interesting is, is we're going to have a test in our address book. We're also going to have a test in our quick set. And understand, though, if you change the test in your address book, that does not necessarily change the test in your quick set, which is also sort of confusing. But now, if you see we have in our quick set a test button. And now when you walk up to the machine and hit scan a network, you will see that. So that's how you actually set up a send a folder and then add a quick set so that you can actually see it on the copier when you're copying. And like I said before, understand these are not the same. They Just because you have test and you have all your settings set up, you could create another one and have that moved over to the actual um, quick set area after your address book entry was made and it may be different so make sure that you if you're going to start over just delete them both out of the quick set and as far and out of the address book